Ever since Apple announced mouse and trackpad support for the iPad, I have been on the search for the best iPad mouse. And that led me to pick up this mouse right here, and that's the Apple Magic Mouse 2, until recently, where I finally picked up this bad boy. This is the Logitech MX Master 3, and I'm gonna tell you why it has solved my desk solution and has been an awesome mouse for the iPad Pro. Coming right up. <laughs> Welcome back creatives, I'm Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. I make weekly tip and tutorial videos as well as gear reviews on all things music production. If you enjoy that kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be the first to catch the next one. Now as an iPad music producer, I thoroughly enjoy the tactile experience of touch input on the iPad for music making but sometimes nothing beats having a good mouse or a good trackpad at your side. So I made it my goal to find the mouse that would work best with the iPad Pro. Now, originally I picked up the Apple Magic Mouse 2 and I really liked it. Um, it's a really sleek mouse. Um, I love that it has the gesture input, basically left and right scroll, up and down smooth scroll, and none of the ratcheting scroll that you would normally get. But it's really lacking in two places, that's ergonomics and functionality. So in an effort to solve some of the functionality issues, I also picked up this, the Magic Trackpad 2, rocking my custom D-brand skin. And that solved a lot of issues for me. I got the three finger gestures, the two finger gestures, and the four finger gestures. And I keep this at the left side of my keyboard, right here. And I keep the mouse on the right. And it was really a good workflow for a while. But then I picked up a Mac mini, video coming soon on that by the way. And I wanted to have a setup where I could keep all the same peripherals and just switch between my iPad and my Mac with them. Now when I release this video in the future talking about this setup, I'll tell you just how crazy I made this and how it's the ultimate productivity setup for me. But for now, I'll just talk about my issues with the mouse and keyboard setup. There's no way to connect this mouse or this trackpad to more than one device. It's the worst part. Thankfully, this Satechi keyboard right here supports up to three devices with Bluetooth, so I can easily swap between my iPad Pro and my Mac Mini, and a third device if I want to. No luck with the mouse. So, in comes the Logitech MX Master 3. This is the Mastered for Mac version, which is honestly pretty much not different at all from the regular MX Master 3, except for the fact that one, they don't include a USB dongle, it's only Bluetooth, and also it has this new colorway. Uh, basically they added some space gray in here in the accents, I don't know if you can see that. Space gray accents and went for a real matte black color rather than the frosty gray one they had before. Now the D-Brand skin that's on this is not sold by D-Brand. Um, this is custom, I did this myself, um, but I just feel like it fits my aesthetic really well. I have a lot of things with this D-Brand robot camo skin on it, so I threw it on there just for the looks. But the main selling point on this for me is this functionality. I've got three different devices that can connect. All you gotta do is press this button it will go between the three devices. Number one is my iPad Pro, number two is my Mac Mini, and number three is actually my wife's iPad. <laughs> um, and then there's an on and off switch right here. This is dope. So when I wanna go between typing on my iPad Pro using this keyboard and also clicking with this mouse, all I gotta do is click this button and press this button on the keyboard and we're good to go. Now another problem this solves for me is the ergonomics. This mouse is highly ergonomic. It really fits the hand really well. Your thumb kind of rests naturally right here. And it's just way more comfortable to use for hours at a time. The scroll wheel is really awesome. This wheel will continue to roll until it clicks and that's when it stops. Also alternatively when you're scrolling, all you have to do is Go one by, one line by one line. If you press this button right here, it goes to smooth scrolling. 
Now, unfortunately, there's no way that you can really tell this through the video, but believe me, it feels great. So those of you that know the channel know all the tech I talk about tends to be focused on music production. And you might ask, what does a mouse have to do with music production on the iPad? For me, it's been really helpful in a few ways. One of the things I say that is so great about the iPad Pro is how portable it is and it really is an all-in-one type machine. It's so easy to just pull out my iPad wherever I'm at and just start creating. But when you're at home, which is where most of us are these days, it's nice to have a desk set up and to work at it like a traditional computer sometimes, in my opinion, and having a good mouse is pretty critical to that for me. The Logitech MX Master 3 is the most comfortable mouse I've ever used, and it solves my multi-device support issue, and it's an overall very feature-rich device. Having a setup like this is also really helpful for video editing, which I do a lot of these days, and being able to scrub through my timeline, I still use my Magic Trackpad 2 for scrubbing and things like that when I want to scrub horizontally. But having this mouse for point and click and drag and things like that is really good for video editing. So for me, when it comes down to it, the best mouse for iPad OS, if you ask me, it's this one. For me, the MX Master 3 does everything I need it to do. Now, this might be for some people the better mouse. Mostly those that care the most about smoother scrolling and being able to side scroll on a mouse, the Magic Mouse 2 is going to be your best bet. But remember, it's not very ergonomic. It can get uncomfortable after using for a long time and everybody knows about this. There have been memes about this. The lightning charging port is on the bottom. Bruh. I imagine you could see why that might be a problem if you want to continue using your device while charging. Yeah, not gonna happen. MX Master 3, you've got USB-C right there in the front so you can charge it while you're working. And for an iPad Pro user like me, anything USB-C is a go. I enjoy having that functionality. I could just plug the same charger cable that came with my iPad from my iPad into my mouse to charge it. Logitech says you get up to, I believe five hours? Or is it three? I think it's three hours on a one minute charge. That's pretty great. On a full charge, they say you should get up to 70 days of battery life, and that's pretty insane. Since I've bought this thing, I haven't charged it once, and it's lasting great. So if you guys are in the market for a new mouse, definitely check out the MX Master 3. If you wanna pick one up, make sure you use my affiliate link down in the description. It'll cost you nothing extra, but it will help out the channel as I receive a small commission on sales through those links. Also, if you're feeling like the Magic Mouse 2 is more your speed and you wanna pick that one up, I will leave that link down in the description as well. But that's it, you guys, for this video. Hopefully you found that helpful. The MX Master 3 has been a win for me and is gonna make my setup really great. Creative go make something dope and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.